So, Frankie, you weren't the only big personality around that team. Uh, what else stuck out about that tournament, your experience? Uh, now, we had some big personalities, and obviously guys that were very rec recognizable right after the World Cup. You had, you know, uh, Alexi obviously with the beard and, and Colby with the long hair, but I tell you what, I mean, things that I still remember is like, you know, how many times can you listen to, to Alexi play songs in his guitar in this little room? I had to, you know, get out of there myself and some of the other guys. I can till, still to this day remember how many espressos I had, you know? I mean, just me, Ernie, and Colby, and, and Harksy, and, 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 and Sorbs, we would go down there because I said, listen, we've heard enough of uh, Alexi, we got to go get some, some coffee. And then I remember throwing T-shirts out to the kids because they were like constantly which was a great thing outside our hotel room and they followed the team around and uh, you know I remember after the game when we beat Argentina you know Diego Maradona was at the stadium you know and all the fans the stadium went crazy yelling his name and he came down in the locker room afterward to, to congratulate uh, congratulate the, the, the players and you know that was a big moment because this guy was like uh, you know one of my favorite players not my favorite player in the world but one it was like a special moment and you know, I mean, little things like that, that, you know, that the memories that last forever. And I remember when we took off, we had this little plane and there was no room for the bags, you know. So we kind of started uh, loading the back of the plane and I was sitting way in the back with Paul Caligiuri and then he's looking at the bags and we can't get out of our seats and he's holding my hand so tight and he's sweating. I said, Paul, you're going to break my wrist, my friend. So anyway, little things like that, I think memories and besides the, 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 the tournament that... Uh, the team had and Thomas Dooley trying to buy an old car and shipping it to the U.S. You know, and now I just keep remembering more and more. But I think those little things are special that, you know, as the tournament goes by, besides the, the victors and how well we did, you remember those. And, you know, those are those little things that uh, stay with you for, for forever and then you miss those guys. So the tournament begins June 3rd and be sure to join the Chicago Fire supporters and everyone around the Chicago land area at the Private Bank Fire Pitch. June 3rd, the opener against Columbia, 7 p.m., the watch party and the festivities begin.